Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I got something real big. Finally gonna go over a review of my hammock gear quilts. Stay tuned, check them out. Alright guys, so first things first, uh, the company itself, Hammock Gear, they do a phenomenal job and they're very easy uh, to deal with. They have a little bit of a lead time, usually 8 weeks, 10 weeks, depending on the time of year. But they do a great job, their customer service is great. Uh, Storm Crow, uh, the guy who owns it, Adam, uh, he does a great job with, with running a tight ship over there. I haven't had any problems with that company and I've been going home for 4 or 5 years now. Just getting different things from them and I especially like their quilts I think that's their that's really their claim to fame I think um, in my opinion so let's go over a couple things I want to hit the uh, economy line versus the premium line and what features you can get when you order these uh, it can be a little bit confusing on their site and what you're really looking at and uh, as a new new hammocker so hopefully this will answer a lot of questions and you'll be able to see the differences also, I'll go over how to set up the uh, underquill, and uh, because there's it's not it's not too complicated, but there is a little bit to do with those uh, to make sure that you're you're warm at night. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So the first thing I want to go over is the top quilts. We got a premium and an economy side by side, and they both have a little bit different qualities and a different setup. Um, mainly in the foot box. But let's go over first all of the similarities and what you'll get in every top quilt you get from Hammock Gear. First thing you'll want to notice is you got baffles going this way, horizontal. Uh, and, and what that does is it keeps all the down that you want in your foot box in your foot box, not traveling up to your head end. Um, in addition, you can actually get extra down in your foot box if you have cold feet kind of like uh, my buddy Josh there tree trunks got to get that extra down in the foot box and then uh, then over here you'll you've got down baffles that are going long ways and this allows you to migrate your down uh, depending on where you want it or just just to have it you know kind of even wherever you want but all you got to do is brush it and migrate your down sometimes it's good to do that um, anyway because your down will sometimes migrate on its own so keep that in mind so then you notice at the top you've got this baffle that comes across here and if you look on this side you'll notice that you have this drawstring right here and you can cinch this up to shorten this end and this end so that way it curves around your body um, and tightens around your shoulders and neck so that way you can keep all the drafts out. It also has buttons to do that as well. So you can cinch that up all the way around your head so it doesn't go anywhere. You also have on both, just like with the cinch cord and with these buckles, again, these are all the same. But these buckles will go also around and snap to each side so that way it will uh, keep from, from moving around on you and you'll, you'll stay nice and tight in there. I personally don't like to use them. I never do. I just uh, do a shoulder tuck and uh, I'm good to go. All right, now let's look at what's different about these two quilts and it's really just in the foot box. Uh, you can get this option in either the premium or the econ. There is no uh, difference here. So what you'll be able to choose is between a zippered foot box that has a cinch cord and a zipper. And you can cinch this up all the way until it's pretty much just a tiny little hole right there. And then you can also open it up completely and zipper this foot box all the way open like a blanket. This allows you to have uh, some customi customization when you're out in the field if it's too hot. 
the uh, this one right here, I actually did not do a a sewn in bat, uh, foot box. So they give you some down right here, sewn all together, and it's a it's a pretty good size foot box right there. It's nice. It's comfortable for me. And then they sew it all the way up here, and then you've got this little you got this little connection right here. So uh, there are pros and cons to both. The the main difference between the two is this has more versatility, and this is just lighter. You're not paying the the tax weight of having this zipper, the drawstring, and all that. I also think that you get a much warmer sleep with this. Uh, just because you're guaranteed to not have even the smallest little draft get in. So I went with this setup for this one. Um, between the two, I don't know. It's it's a tough call. It depends on the person. But I can say I've never had cold feet with, these, with this setup. So um, really having the sewn-in foot, foot box is not, you know, necessary completely. But I've also never... Um, put this down below, uh, say, 40 degrees. Whereas this one, I tested out in 30 degrees, and it per provided my feet plenty of warmth. So let's move on to the underquilt. This is the underquilt you're going to get. It is the full-size underquilt. They also sell a three-quarter and I believe a half. Um, I personally like the extra coverage because of the bugs. It's just weird for me to think about bugs getting to my feet or getting to my, uh, you know, my calves or something like that. And I also flop around a lot, so I like to have a full size. And the first thing you'll notice here is you, you have less down here and more down here. All right, so what we have, what we have right here is a primary suspension secondary suspension and a cinch cord the primary suspension comes all the way up here along with the secondary suspension and connects to a carabiner and goes around your continuous loop right here you just hook that on there nice and easy and that primary suspension is what holds this hammock up without the primary suspension you don't get this lift and you need the lift on your uh, hammock underquilt because you need that to be pressed on up against your butt up against your body otherwise the down won't keep you warm you need that pressed up on you and the secondary suspension right here it also connects up top and what you do is you pull on this or you can let it out and all that does is move this this whole piece right here, depending on your how you have those tightened or loosened, and it moves this way or it moves that way. And it is on both sides, so you can have this side a little bit longer than that side, and so on and so forth. So it can be at an angle there a little bit. And what this allows you to do is to position this hammock or this quilt directly where you need it depending on how you lay in your hammock whether you you tilt up higher you know whatever I won't go into all the all the setups of how to do a hammock but but basically that allows you to have it set up where you want it and then finally on each end you can adjust how much space you're giving in the underquilt. And what's nice about hammock gears underquilts is they have a baffle in here. This this down right here actually runs all the way around it. And what you can do is pop that out a little bit and it seals up so wind can't go into the hammock or into the uh, the gap that might be there and rob your warmth. It just seals it up so that way your warmth does not escape and wind doesn't come in there and start robbing your warmth. <clears throat>
because it also has baffles that go all the way from the top to the bottom there you also got to watch out for your down being migrated so keep that in mind as well and that's basically it for the under quilt all right so that's pretty much all the features for the top quilt and the under quilt uh, you can get these quilts also in different sizes uh, you can go wide if you want to be on the ground or uh, the standard width if you're in a hammock and then also the length you can get a short standard or long I can tell you I've tried the short and the long or I'm sorry the short and the standard length the standard length is definitely long enough for somebody up to probably six foot uh, the short is good they say to five seven I think that I could easily push it to uh, to 58 I'm pretty close on that threshold uh, right right at 57 a little bit under and uh, I've got plenty of room in there uh, especially if it's for a summer set if you're going for a cold winter set I personally always bump up to the next length I get the standard length for me for the uh, colder seasons because I want to have that a uh, little extra play to make sure that I'm really uh, in there nice and uh, nice and snug and the extra weight in the winter months it really doesn't matter uh, the, it, you just kinda gotta deal with that in the winter so it's well worth it at that point point. Um, and that's pretty much it now as far as the ratings go on the, the quilts they are good to their rating uh, my 20 degree set that I got from them, that was an economy quilt, my very first set, I got one ounce of overstuff and it brought me down, I know I used it in just a little bit under 20 degrees, I think it was 18, 19 degrees when I tested it out um, and I was good through the night-ish. It wasn't perfect, I wasn't like super warm, it's not like... Um, the thing is overrated by it by any means, uh, but it's definitely not underrated. So you, if, if you get a 20 degree quilt, you should be able to make it through the night in 20 degrees uh, just fine. If these are my 30 degree quilts that I just bought, I tested those out last night and I was able to get uh, three or four hours in them uh, without having a single problem. Uh, and then I didn't sleep out here. I just went back inside after that but I stayed out here um, in the hammock for a few hours and I was well well warm and it was 29 28 degrees um, but I'm also in a garage I did have the front open so I, I would imagine that um, with a little bit maybe of a draft or something like that 30 degrees is probably probably about right all right so uh, now that we went over all the all the features let's just go over the differences um, between getting the premium and the economy um, I got the economy I got a few of their economy quilts and I have a set now on the premium quilt so I can decide which one's uh, the right choice so starting off the big difference is uh, really what they're made out of that's about it and, and what it is is you can choose the fabric it's a different fabric and a different um, insulation. So with the economy you're going to get a 20D uh, nylon uh, fabric. I forget the exact name of it but uh, it's a 20D and it's a little bit heavier than the 10D argon that you get in the premium line. You can also get a camo in the premium line that's a 15D argon and uh, that's I haven't had it, so I don't know if it's better or worse or whatever, but primarily you're, you're dealing with a 20D versus a 10D. And what that does is it drops your weight down in the premium to a, uh, a, a couple ounces, three, four ounces, depending on the size and, you know, whatever it is. And then the other big difference is getting the 800 fill that you get in the economy line versus the... 950 fill that you can get in the premium line. They also offer an 850 fill in the premium line. I personally think that if you're going to shell out the money to, to get a better fabric, you might as well 
pay the extra for the, the, the better quality down uh, because the fabric drops the weight, but the down drops the weight and the size that it compresses to. You can compress a 950 down much smaller than an 800 down. Um, so uh, I'll give you a visual of kind of some weights and some sizes. Let's take a look. All right, so I got a box here just to use, make it easier. Plus I love Oikos, so good. All right, tear that. And let's just make sure our stuff sacks right here. That is 1.7 ounces. <clears throat> now my other one, same stuff sack, different color. 1.8 ounces for some reason. All right, let's see how these these guys weigh. So this is the premium quilt. Push this into this box. 1.09, that's with the stuff sack. And this is the economy quilt. And that weighs 1.6. So we will call that about a five ounce difference between the two. All right guys, so that pretty much sums everything up. Uh, I was gonna get these into a stuff sack, each one, uh, but I don't have two compression stuff sacks. And so I really can't get a good idea of how much more the 950 fill will compress over the 800 fill. Um, but it's a little bit more. And uh, is it substantial? Probably not really going to make or break anybody's pack. Uh, if you're worried about a little bit of uh, uh, compression at that point, maybe you got to get a little bit bigger pack. But um, yeah, so basically it comes down to 5 ounces between the premium and the economy quilt. Um, and you do that for both the top quilt and the under quilt and well now you're looking at 10 ounces uh, is it worth it well you know you're talking about the economy quilt with the 30 degree that I showed you uh, came in at 160 without any discounts of course um, uh, and then the premium quilt came in at 280 so you're talking about $120 extra to save on five ounces. Uh, is that worth it? Now you do it with both the top quilt and the under quilt and uh, you know maybe maybe $240 to save on 10 ounces that might be worth it I don't know I mean you're talking about gear uh, look at your your uh, your puffy uh, you can get a cheap puffy for 100 bucks you can get an expensive puffy for 400 bucks from from uh, Arcteryx or something uh, so uh, yeah what's your budget what can you afford I think I'm gonna stick with my premium quilt for one set any any of my winter sets are definitely gonna stay in the uh, the economy line because you know depending on what I'm doing with those um, I'm not worried about every ounce in the winter but maybe I'll I I think maybe in the summertime, maybe you are. You, you're really pushing those 20 mile days. It might be worth it. But um, either way, economy or premium, you really can't go wrong with these quilts. I definitely give them a thumbs up. I think they're one of the best uh, manufacturers out there. They're uh, USA made. And uh, uh, I think uh, Storm Crow does a great job over there. So thumbs up. All right, guys, so I hope this does help somebody out there. I know it can be confusing, but I think after watching this video, I hope I was able to help somebody uh, make a decision on what's right for them and, and their needs. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button. Let me know that you, you want more content from me, uh, and I'd, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, I'll see you in the comments section. See ya.